To see if mold is causing your symptoms, there are different kinds of tests. Here's my take on the test as an MD who helps people with mold illness. Keep in mind, mold is very common and it commonly causes symptoms. So save this post for when you need it. First, there's a urine mycotoxins test. And this is my favorite test to use to see if there's mold toxins in the body. This will tell you what kind of toxins your body is trying to get out right now. There are multiple labs that will do this test. How it works is you get the test mailed to your home, you pee in a cup, send it back, and the test takes about 10 days for results. There's also a blood test for mold toxins. This one tells you antibodies to mold toxins. So like IgE antibodies and IgG antibodies. Sometimes it can be a bit misleading if you have high levels of IgG, for example, but not high levels of IgE. And what do we do with this information? Does it just tell you whether you're allergic? So it's not the favorite of a lot of mold doctors, including myself, but if I am getting both tests, if finances are not an issue and we're doing all the testing possible, then I will do both tests sometimes. The blood test that your doctor will normally do whenever you ask them about mold testing is gonna be an allergy test to mold. It's gonna tell you antibodies to mold. And a lot of times they're gonna be positive, especially if you're sensitive to mold, but that doesn't tell you which toxins you have and which molds you have been exposed to that your body actually cares about. So I don't find this as useful as the mycotoxins testing. Make sure you follow for more mold testing tips.